Tony Edward did an interview, and it looks like the settlement between Ripple and the SEC will be finalized by March 30th. Play the clip because it's all about you, and it features an interview with Sheila Warren, CEO of the Cryptocurrency Council for Innovation, in which she predicts the outcome of the SEC participatory lawsuit and explains why she thinks Ripples will win the case and by when. It's a terrific video, about 3 minutes and 30 seconds long, and it's going to be vital to. Well, I think you're getting it, so let's actually roll the clips and get right in. It's Ripple's legal brief. And the judge could rule as soon as today or as late as the beginning of next month. I mean, what the heck are you? In light of your experience, what do you think will happen next and what effect will it have on the market? Well, that's basically what I've always thought. I've believed that Ripple can win this lawsuit in its current form from the start. In fact, I publicly stated as much a long time ago and received a lot of backlash on Twitter for doing so, for reasons I still don't fully comprehend. I don't see why we wouldn't back a business that has the means to take on this agency right now. Oh, I just never got it, and it's again, I was extremely perplexed by the initial reaction to that, as it appeared to me that they were trying to create precedent that might be very powerful, but it's been nice to see how people have come around to that. And aid many others, so I filed an amicus curiae brief in support of the defendant in that case. Doing so was a breeze, as I've had a passing interest in the proceedings for some time. I suppose I can accept that for Gray. By the way, I believe that the grayscale argument is already establishing itself with the remarks that have been made. Um, you know, obviously the argument has a lot of value, and so the question is going to be, it has started to feel like a lot of discussion is about who court to appeal to and whether or not to appeal at all, which is fine and all, but the main point I want to make is that this is not an agency and does not fall under the purview of the current chair. Before we continue, I'd want to remind you that MetalCrypted.com is where you can have a custom metal crypto coin like the Rupal XRP coin in a case that looks quite attractive. Bitcoin in a case looks great no matter what color you choose, gold or silver. In addition to Bitcoin and Ethereum, you may also purchase additional cryptocurrencies such as USDT and Stellar XL1. Shiba Inu coined Light Bitcoin. Get it while it's hot Kodano Moon Ethereum they are so very lovely and they arrive in such nice packaging, that I strongly urge you to purchase both the Dodge a coin and a plethora of other things from the same company. Also, it's a one-of-a-kind tangible crypto coin that doesn't exist anyplace else. You can save 10%, though, by clicking the link in the description. Make sure you all check them out via the description link and then we can get down to business. We'll get back to the video in a second, but first, I wanted to mention that Fortune Crypto has published an article discussing Ripple and XRP and confirming that, yep, finally, the rip has happened. With the conclusion of the pending overseas SC litigation, both Ripple and XRP are poised for massive gains. They also discussed the likelihood of an IPO for Ripple. As the CEO, Brad Garner, has claimed after the lawsuit and that extra component expected to pump approximately $7 upon completion of both the case and a Ripple IPO, which is again completely ridiculous, but in a recent price projection by the crypto community. After all, he did mention that each additional pizza would set you back $200, which is mind-boggling in end of itself but demonstrates the enormous wealth creation potential of XRP. Digital money if everything went back to how it should be. You will witness the best of the best here. You can see the pump that happened in this area in 2018. If this pattern were to reoccur, an additional piece would cost roughly $200. This research is based on the historical data of previous bull markets. Christine Lagarde's recent public prediction that central banks will gradually lose authority is also bizarre. Unless they leave the monetary system please begin using the CBDC platform immediately. We have the future with the central bank's digital money system, XRP, S Army. What's significant about this, and why it's been rebranded as XRP, is that Ripple has been collaborating with numerous financial institutions and central banks to roll out their CBCD system. As a result, it's safe to assume that the majority of these countries will adopt the Ripple system and the Ripple Mount system, both of which make use of XRP. I think it's pretty accurate that the monetary system is actually about to collapse. We've seen this via all the banks that have been fully collapsed, 
therefore this is wonderful news for XRP investors. The financial system is on the point of collapse due to the SVB credit Switzerland virtually destroyed, and just recently another recent bank, so we need something to replace it, and the one thing that can perfect it is Ripple. And with the Ripple mat system, this has also been demonstrated by the fact that there have been so many new XRP whale holders that purchased a ton of XRP and are now holding it, which once again reaffirms the fact that there is definitely a positive outcome going to resolve after this lawsuit and that the price action for XRP is definitely protected. Nonetheless, if you did find this video entertaining, if you did, please subscribe to the channel and use the like button.